Hello everyone, welcome to the Art Gallery Workshop. I am your host, Christopher Epling. I'm glad you're tuning in today. We're going to be picking up from last time where we did an overview of my work, talking about how uh, working as an illustrator can be something that you may be interested in and you can do. Um, I live here in Pike County, work from Pike County, uh, service for publishing imprints um, all the way down to Florida and up the East Coast and, and, and local publishing imprints as well. So. Um, working as an illustrator, there's a lot of jobs, so check out uh, that last episode if you get a chance. Uh, I'd like to encourage everybody to go to theholler.org, submit your drawings. We looked at a very cool submission from Chrissy Waters last time. She's a student at Belfry High School. If you have submissions, be sure to send those in to me. Uh, last time we didn't do any drawing, but we looked at a ton of drawing, but today we're going to. Sticking with the theme of being tied into doing characters and different types of cartooning styles, um, we're going to be doing a little bit of stuff from um, Hillbillies and Hillbilly Days. Um, I did the t-shirt design for that in the Hatfield McCoy Days. I shared that with you last time as well as the White Lightning Zipline map, uh, which is also uh, has a little bit of a funny, you know, uh, Hillbilly type theme to it. So we're going to be drawing some Hillbilly characters today. Uh, so let's go ahead and, and, and jump right in. First we're going to be doing, uh, uh, working with the digital, uh, digital um, medium here. This is a, a Wake, Wacom tablet. Um, it's really fun to use. So first thing I want you to think about whenever you're um, putting together your drawing is, is consider again the Marvel method. So I'm going to take out, and I'm starting out with blue. Now this blue is to represent only pencil. This is a pencil line. So you have to use your imagination with me a little bit. Now what I have here is an oval. And you can see that's an oval. You can zoom in a little bit. <clears throat> Now the oval, as we see it, um, that's a basic shape. We're going to start out using this Marvel method, draw a line straight down the middle. Now something interesting about drawing human shapes is this. Um, the eyes, uh, as from the pupil to pupil on every single person, so the distance between here and here, between that pupil and that pupil, should technically be the same distance between the top of the brow here and the tip of the nose. This is true for every uh, human being. It's basic anatomy. Uh, some people's uh, pupils may be farther apart than others, but uh, so the distance between this pupil here and this pupil here should be the same distance between here and down at the tip of the nose. Okay, so the nose would be about right here. That's just an interesting, fun little fact. Um, so when we're laying out the design for a face or a head or something like that, I used these little lines to help guide me. Now they serve just to guide me. If you've watched any of these workshops, you recall the Marvel method, you know what I'm talking about. Um, shapes such as circles, ovals, um, when you put all these together, it starts to build a framework. And you can see how this kind of looks like the head and shoulders of a figure. Now when we're doing the hillbilly figure, the cartoon for this, what we're going to be doing, we're going to use a basic um, um, uh, shape to him, but we're going to overextend certain features, such as the ears. We're also going to be um, giving a slightly big nose, sort of like this. Okay, um, we're going to put him in a hat. If you've been to Hillbilly Days ever, you know the icon that is used to uh, represent Hillbilly Days. There's a old style uh, hat that the um, Hillbillies usually um, wear. We're going to put that going around his head, sort of like this right here, okay, and then down like this. He's going to have a beard, so we're going to put that on him. This will be included towards the end. The beard will be coming down like this over top of his neckline, going down into his shoulders, okay. You got the eyebrows, of course. Now I'm drawing this all in pencil still, and this is just a Kind of give you an idea again how we're going to be laying this character out, how we're going to be designing this character. We may give him some overalls. Once you have those basic shapes, those ovals, circles, and various other things, you can really start putting on the detail as we're doing here. Now once we have this basic shape, like for instance for his arms, we could do an oval here and then another oval. Uh, same thing on this side, circles for the elbows. And then once you have this, you see you draw over top of it. That's just to help to guide you, like we've talked about all along. The Marvel method is a great way to lay out the structure of a drawing. Now here I have 
what would be a lot of pencil lines if we were doing this on paper. Um, so what I would do before I ever start drawing anything or putting ink, I mean before I started inking anything, I'd want to go back now and I'd want to make sure all these details are included in my drawing, such as uh, the hair coming out of the hat here, okay, uh, maybe the eyes here, the nose. All these details I want to make sure are included before I ever start inking the drawing. Um, so what I'm going to do now is just grab some black. You can see this is a darker color here that we're going to use for black. Uh, I'm going to go back over the drawing now and I'm going to ink the drawing. So we're going to zoom in a little bit to give you, you can see this sort of well. Now this changes the size of my pen here. Uh, if you're using a regular pen, you know how some pens are very thick tipped and some are very fine point tipped. It's a good thing to have a, you know, variation of those things uh, available to you when you're drawing because uh, smaller tips help to go in with fine detail, broader tips do the opposite. So uh, we're going to go in now and pretend this is an ink pen. I'm going to be tracing over my lines, or most of my lines anyway. I may choose to leave some in, take some out, who knows. It depends a great deal on, on how it looks when you're, or what you're shooting for, okay? All right, so now we're just going to follow our pencil lines the best we can. We're going to add some of these little lines in here to show the hair of the beard. Coming up on this side now into the cap area. The ear is going to stick out right and down on both sides sort of like this okay we got the beard coming down now like we said around his uh, neck and his chin all the way down he's got a big beard and for the mustache and we're going to put the bottom part of the lip on here and then we can move up a little bit and work on the top of this cap too so for the cap part, we want to include this hair coming out the top, sticking out sort of a little wildly. Now this looks sort of like a humble little hillbilly guy here. We're, we're not doing anything too crazy just yet. Here in a second, we'll draw something a little more exaggerated and um, we'll see what that looks like, okay? That's all we really need for the cap. Now, a little bit later, if you wanted to take this, you can add detail to it. You can put these little cross hatches in here to show shadow. Of course, that cross hatch will get smaller and smaller as this comes up towards the top right so this is darker because this has less sunlight hitting it or light source whatever the light source might be so we'll draw this in and maybe cross hatch it some here and something like that so you can get really detailed with this but for the purpose of our um, uh, project here we're just going to keep trucking along so we'll work on the body and ink it out really fast the overalls will come up, go over top of his back, come down on his chest on both sides, sort of like that. Okay, and then once we have this, we'll go ahead and work on the shoulder. Now the shirt will actually lay on top of our design. It's not going to stick straight to the skin like a superhero outfit, so be sure to draw those curves in there. Okay, those curves are important to show fabric and creases and all that stuff. Again, we got some shadow maybe coming into play right here. Okay, we got the, the buckles for his overalls. You could draw a little line coming down on each side, connecting in there if you wanted. Get as detailed as you want. You're drawing. Now, if you're drawing along with me and you want to submit and show me what you came up with, please do. Go to the holler.org, log in, go to the art gallery workshop. You want to click on that, and when you click on that, you can uh, go directly into the um, um, art gallery uh, site where everyone shares their work, communicates, asks questions, what they like, don't like. Maybe there's something you'd like to see done more. Maybe you'd like to see uh, some nature stuff. We could do different types of birds. We could do landscape drawings. We could. Uh, there's anything under the sun that we can work on together. We could do faith-based theme stuff. We could do anything. If there's anything in particular you'd like to see more of, log on, let me know. We'll work on that specific thing um, and share with everybody, okay? So now, while I've been talking, I've also added these uh, little texture type things to his shirt, as you can see here. So, and like I said, you can go back later and put this detail in if you want. Now, we should have something that looks, see there's a little hillbilly guy. He, he looks kind of humble. He's, 
He's not wanting to cause anybody no trouble. He's just hanging out, getting his picture taken. Um, one thing about this light source to remember if you're drawing, just like, um, okay, for instance, imagine this. I want to share this with you because this is important. All young artists have a little bit of trouble with this, but we'll, do, we'll go over it real fast. Um, let's see if I grab the right um, tool here. There we go. So let's imagine this is a lamp. Just imagine this with me here. We got a little lamp, like a desk lamp. There's a little knob turned on. Here's a little thing going down. You got the the base coming up here. So there's our base. Okay, there's a base. Now, if I were to go over here and flip on this light right here, okay, turn it on. What's going to happen is the light's going to come on, and the light's going to come out in this direction, right? So all of this back here is going to remain in the dark or fairly in the dark um, the back side of the lamp will maybe back here around the base will be dark okay let's say it's sitting on a table here's our table now let's say we have a ball here let's say we have a tennis ball or a baseball or an orange or anything you want to call it the lights coming down on this orange right here so the shadow then if the, sh if the lights coming in this direction like this okay it's hitting this object the shadow then is going to be behind it. It's going to be back here. See that? So to keep this stuff in mind when you're drawing, even when it's simple cartoons and stuff, because when you add these effects, it makes your drawing look a lot better, more realistic, and it shows growth as an artist as well. Okay? Here in a little bit, when we go to the paper format, I'm going to draw on paper for you. I'm going to show you a couple of my supplies today, and I'm going to, be sh I'm going to show you how to do this in a fairly inexpensive way um, without having to buy those really expensive markers like the Copic and the Prismacolor markers. found a way you can get around that today and I'll share that with you. So let's go ahead now let's move on to um, actually doing our subject for today and our subject for today is going to be this little guy here. I'll pull him down so you can see it on the screen. Got the little guy playing the banjo. Okay, see him? He's another little happy um, Hillbilly guy here, he's going to be smoking his little pipe and he's got his bottle of uh, orange juice right beside him and his banjo. So we're going to be doing this character today. So in order to do that, I want you to remember blue is pencil on here. We're going to start out drawing the Marvel method, circle shape. So the way I like to do it is I want you to look at this on your screen for a second. Look at that on your television screen. Now I want you to squint your eyes a little bit. And when you squint your eyes, I want you to see the basic shapes. Don't pay attention to detail. Don't look at his hair, his nose, his eyes, his hat, his corn cob pipe. Just look at the de at the shapes, okay? What kind of basic shape do you see? That's what the Marvel Method's comprised of. His belly's coming down. He's got another oval shape, kind of making up this whole area right here. So you could imagine that inside there. Now, if you're drawing this at home, and you're drawing along with me, or maybe you're going to do it later, don't press down real hard. Because all these things we're doing, you're going to have to go back and erase later. He's got
I'm going to grab my marker and I'm going to start to work on the details. I'm going to draw a line going down the center of where his face is. There's the center of his face. Okay, his eyes are going to be about right here. His nose is going to be about right here. His mouth down below. So whenever you're creating these characters and you're putting them together, be sure and pay attention to where all these things break up. Um, you really need to reference your drawing a lot to make sure that these things connect. His hat comes up sort of tall, comes back down, it's going to come out on this side, sort of like this, okay, and then it's going to be up here at the top, sort of like that. Now I'm still using a pencil, so if you're following along with me, I'm still using a pencil. I'm going to do his hair first, his hair is going to come down, now this may not look exactly like what we're drawing over here, but as long as we have the general shapes together, that's all I'm really wanting to wanting you to do, and it's all I really expect from myself, okay? So the hair is going to be back here. He's got the, the, the beard. It comes down, sort of like that. Okay, he's got two simple, simple eyes, but first let's work on the, the head. It comes down this way. His face, he's got some hair sticking out here. He's got two really simple eyes, one right here and one right here, and then his nose will come out back in, sort of like that. His mouth's open, he's smiling, he's happy, that's a good thing. There we go. All right, and you can keep on going with this, putting all the detail in pencil before you ever start to go back and ink it, okay? It's really important to do that. It helps guide you, makes your drawing look more um, better, well put together, that kind of thing, okay? So he has these uh, little pocket on his overalls, his hands, and the little fingers that fold underneath and come straight up, just like that. I'm going to give him three because that's how many I can fit on there. His shirt comes up like this, over here. The shirt's almost already drawn for you just by using the ovals, so you don't really have to add a whole lot to that. Here though we do have to add some fingers. Remember to start, let me zoom in so I can show you. If you zoom in on the hands, you can see that we don't want to overcomplicate this, so we just want to make this very simple. Just do the lines in there as needed, something like that right there, and fold it back in, okay? Now, now this has some detail to it um, at the bottom for his, um, his uh, pants and his shoes and everything, but we have the general shape that we really need to finish out this drawing, okay? So what I'm going to do from here, I'm going to grab my black ink and I'm going to zoom in so you can see. So here we go. There's the uh, character. So let's start working on our outline. Okay, this is the fun part. This is where you get to really see your uh, creation come together. Here, you want to trace over your lines. Make sure that you uh, follow everything that you've put on there, but also you don't have to follow it to a T. If you want to change some things up, that's perfectly fine. It's up to you on what you want to do with your drawing, okay? Now again, if you do this with me today and you'd like to share it with me, go to the holler.org so I can see your work, okay? Send it to me, I'll share it right here on the Art Gallery Workshop. So let's go ahead now, we'll finish his beard. His beard's going to come down, his hat's got these creases in them. Okay, something like that. Now this is going to all color it in, but we're not going to have time to really color in everything today. But you can do this at home if you want, all right? Something like that, okay? So let's keep on going down now. Um, got his overalls come over. Like this. Stop. Got the buckles. Come down like this across his chest. His arm down here, like I said earlier. Make sure to uh, follow the shapes you created. Again, for his fingers, keep it simple. Don't overcomplicate this, okay? His pipe's going to be sticking out like this. He'll be holding on to the other end here, corn cob, like that right there, okay? Let's keep on going so we can finish this out. The back of the rocking chair. 
shoulder comes down, rest on the rocking chair here. Just putting in detail, that's all we're doing. Following our lines, keeping with what we've already laid out and done. Okay, that's all there is to it. Of course, my lines aren't very straight on this, but for the purpose of the video, this is a quick drawing and it'll work, okay? See his fingers? I'm just making these curves. That's all it is. Students sometimes have a lot of trouble with hands and I understand why completely, um, especially if you're doing something that's realistic. Those of you that like to draw people or portraits of people and things of that nature, uh, it can be really hard. So the crease of his overalls come here. Got another crease that comes down. We'll be putting his shoe in in a minute. He's got crease here where he's setting on both sides like that. Okay. We're going to work on the feet here. The shoes are like this. They got a crease and then it comes up and down. It'll be like this on both sides. Just like that. Now if you want to use if you were to use a ruler and really get technical with this and make it look really good, your lines nice and straight, even, all that stuff. Um, that's wonderful. But we're going to put the bottle here. Something like that. I'm going to try to finish this up in the time we have together. And again, uh, those of you who are enjoying this workshop, tune in. Send me your work. I also encourage you to keep a sketchbook. I keep a sketchbook everywhere I go. Um, last episode, we talked about different professions and Jo the, the profession of um, illustration, working in, in the field and things of, of that nature. And if you are interested in working as an as a illustrator, um, there are careers out there for you. I really encourage you to look into it. Um, something that you want to do, you can. You don't have to work for Disney, Marvel, DC Comics, that kind of stuff. You can work. Um, for instance, I, I live right here in Pike County. I work right here at home. Um, Let me see how you've done. We didn't have time to add the straps in his shirt today or other things like that, but using the Marvel method, I think we did a pretty good representation of this little guy on the side. Now we could, you know, if you want to, the details, it's, it's, it's still there, like adding in the, uh, the creases here on his face coming up, and then you got the lines beside his eyes on both sides and all that stuff, but you can add that in later if you want, okay? Well, I really hope that you've had a good time watching today. This is just a basic cartoon type of uh, techniques for you. Uh, be sure to try to tune in for the next art gallery workshop. We're gonna be doing more of the same. We're gonna be working on paper. Uh, we're also gonna be working on a few things here in the shop that are related to uh, uh, our region, Hatfield McCoy type stuff later on down the road. We're also gonna be doing some theme stuff for Hillbilly Days and other types of things like that. So. Be sure and tune in uh, each week to the Art Gallery Workshop. I'm Christopher Epling, your host, and thank you so much for your time and attention, and keep drawing.